Angels, chime in. Come into the room. Come into my atmosphere and the space right here for my collective. This is for divine feminines and divine masculines. What are the messages that are needed to be relayed to you? What are the steps that you need to take? Okay? And do you need to take heed? I got a lot of different cards here that I made with all these decks for you. Let's get into uh, shuffling. Um, Holy Spirit, I set you coming in on behalf of uh, Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines. Can you provide us protection, love, and guidance? Bring in the Archangels on their behalf to relay these messages. Okay. So, your opening energy is 11, the universe. The universe. You're aligned with the universe. The universe is helping you. The universe is guiding you. You may be having dreams or seeing uh, the number 11, 11, 22, 22, 33, signs, music. It's your time now for you to be awakened because you are born again. You're a whole new person. You have a whole new mind frame, a whole new mindset. And that is very beautiful, okay, for you all. I I'm proud of y'all. We went through a lot 2020, haven't we? Haven't we? But how'd you come up on top? Your love healed and blessed. The angels are with you. Your spirit guides are with you during this time, okay? You have good memories and you're doing it with a smile. Your heart is aligned. It is beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy for y'all. I am. Let me shuffle these for y'all, okay? Let's see what's going on. You are celebrating family, friends, cheers, dancing, vibing, living your life, being in great gratitude, divine masculines and divine feminines. You guys are evolving to your higher selves. Is that not the greatest gift that you can ever have? Is to evolve to your higher self. And it looks like a book wanted to come out. <laughs> Baby, we not doing that. We not doing that. I do um, personal readings as well. Okay. You have the Ace of Cups. Pretty soon, you're going to be mastering uh, your abundance. You're going to be mastering um, attracting beautiful beings into your life. You're going to be mastering your emotions and all of those beautiful things. Sorry about that, y'all. The car fell. But you you, you had to go through a dark place in order to get here. The light was still within you. You had to isolate yourself away from family and friends to get here. You spent a long time by yourself to get here. Okay? You did a lot of soul searching. And it looks like you found your soul. A lot of people lose their souls. Not you. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull out another card. On behalf of Divine Masculines and Feminines. So that, that's, that's, that's the shit right there. That's the shit right there. That's the shit I'm talking about. Somebody's energy is trying to come in. Somebody wants to come in really fast, really quick. Let's see what we got for that card. Um, it's the night uh the night of swords. This person is really in and out. In and out with conversations, in and out with emotions, in and out with the total connection there. So this person, there is no gender related to this, but you would know more than I would. Okay, I'm done with that deck. Yep. You're you're busy feel, uh, fulfilling your own cup. You're filling you're fulfilling your own cup. You're healing yourself, okay? And you're trying to balance out yourself um, towards whatever connection that's supposed to be coming in. You're seeing that it is more out there. 
it is it's more out there it is love out there it's blessings out there it's lessons out there the world is so grand you're not only looking at the world or the water you're looking at the universe and you're seeing a whole new perspective that god allowed you to get to this place and see and that's so beautiful um holy spirit i'm asking that you give us some messages pertaining to yeah and you may be overlooking something seeing the wrongdoings that were happening on your behalf whether it was relationships connections anything that was dabbling in, in, in your mind God is telling you no nope not gonna happen not today not tomorrow and not no other day let's see what's going on here we have some more cards yeah you about to be ace of pentacles you're gonna be like money and abundance are gonna be coming out of nowhere you're gonna have a way as to where you can make money new jobs new opportunities are going to be coming up for you you're going to have new thoughts and ideas and inventions that are going to help you to obtain money okay so what you do do what you love do that shit do that shit don't let nobody stop you at all today is live life today that's how you're going to bring in abundance for yourself that's how you're going to bring in abundance for yourself when you open your perspective okay we want to get some messages on on the Knight of Swords. Because we know your cup is, is being fulfilled. Right? Right. So I don't know if a Knight of Swords had you worried. Or a person that was always in and out. Never consistent with you. Had you very worried. Up in your head. With anxiety. Okay? That you were unable to manifest how you wanted to. But your cup was always half full. Instead of your cup being you know, just full, like, I need to quench my thirst, because it was secrets hidden deep, it's some secrets hidden deep, something never really came out, something that probably was in the past, that probably was partially told to you, that never came out, okay, and a lot of you need, in order for you to get these divine messages from the universe, from the universe, you're going to have to go deep, Go big or go home. You need to cleanse your intestines. 75% of your intestines, disease starts within the gut. So change up your diet. Switch up your diet in order for you to attract your abundance, in order for you to attract your divine counterpart, in order for you to attract your highest consciousness. Okay? Love on your children. Have some children around you. If you want to go visit your cousins, niece, nephew, hmm, or your own children, vibe with them, love on them, talk to them, teach them, guide them, heal them, because they are going to be providing you the energy that you need to go through to get out that dark tunnel if you are, are still in the dark tunnel, if you are, okay? Yes, because after you're done healing, changing up your diet, Changing up your perspective, it's going to be you, the new youth 5,000, the divine masculine 2.0, the divine feminine 2.0. Let's not get it confused. Don't let them get it confused because the will will be turning in your favor. If you start changing up things in your life, doing something that you've never done before, stepping out of your comfortability, you know what I mean? Because it may be some energy around trying to penetrate, penetrate your energy. And God's not going to go for it. And the only way that you can join forces with God is by aligning your body, your mind, body, and soul. We can't do that eating uh, ghee rolls and burgers and french fries every single day. Our minds are not going to be cleansed enough. It's going to be filled with, with different toxins that are going to cause a lot of confusion. Okay, and this energy is going to try and want to come in real quick to try and distract you. Okay, but you're divinely protected. Just know that. 
I hope you resonate with any of these messages. If you would like some deeper, uh, some deeper clarity, okay, or some details, feel free to reach out to me and get a personal reading and I will help you so with my soul. You know, I got multiple card decks and I like to get to the nitty gritty, the core. Let's do the let's do the um onion onion talk. Peel that onion so you're able to uh release. I love you so very much, divine masculine and feminine. May you continue to evolve.